Hi everyone! Okay, so it's the second Sunday of the month, which means it is Vintage, for the love of Vintage Shabby Chic collab, hosted by me. I love this collab, simply because I love Vintage and Shabby Chic. Um, there are still 24 or 25 of us taking part in this collab. Everyone who is will be linked in the description box. Amazing inspiration, guys. Go over and check out everybody's channels. Um, just some fantastic, like, talented ladies. Um, so, yes, this month... I'm going to zoom in a wee bit. I made a couple of things. Now, a minute to take my glasses off so I can see a bit better. Um, <laughs> just because my, my glasses are for distance. So, I made, first of all, I made this card. Really simple. Um, all I've got to do is put a sentiment on it. But I really like how it's turned out. It's just some paper. I used some of the um, Nouveau Mousse a book page, a tonic dye and this gorgeous topper so that is a card but then my main project is this now this I followed a tutorial from um, a channel called Bohemian Crafting and I will link the tutorial down in the description box oh my gosh amazing channel beautiful beautiful projects vintage shabby chic gorgeous projects really talented lady so this is what it is now this is actually made from a dl envelope and it's like a wee folder so this is the front and i just used some keys some wooden keys and some vintage type papers and things to decorate it and a die so this flips up like this so you've got the flip up, which I think is just so cute. Look at that. Now the ones the lady made, were, I can't remember her name, I'm so sorry, but the one that she made were so much better. She made a few of them with Tim Holtz products and things and they were gorgeous, but this is my take on it. So it opens up. Again, I've used a Nouveau Mousse. I used um, coffee dyed paper and things to back onto the dyes. And then in here, it's a wee pocket. And I made this tag and just a guest check and I just stamped it and vintaged it up that goes in there turn it over um, you can see I've used some wooden embellishments some die cut pieces and then in here I just collaged up my paper and again I've really got into using this vintage um, not vintage, the gold Nouveau Mousse I think it, it's shabby shakes it up I made a wee tag, just a wee simple tag, and then this tag with some coffee dyed paper and some stenciling, and that just slips in the back of here. And this just is one envelope. Then this is magnetised. You open it up. I've got this page again. I've just done some collage in and then some butterflies. This opens up again, and then in here is another wee pocket. And I just done like use die cuts and pieces of paper that I had torn and then used the Nouveau Mousse and I like how that turned out and I used the Happily Ever After die and the Once Upon a Time just to make some tags that just slip in here so yep yeah, if you're interested guys definitely check out her tutorials I, I'll just I just thought this was so much fun to make and if you wanted to I mean you could make this bit on the front and make the back flat and put this inside the journal but yeah, that's my project for this month, so let me know what you think, guys. Um, like I said, please check out everybody in the description box. Some amazing talent, some gorgeous projects I'm sure will be made again this month. Thank you so much for watching. Hit me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like this video, or if you don't. And I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.